today on Life Learning Littles. My daughter River and I are in for a big surprise when we find a mysterious map hidden in our new learning chest. And where it leads, we just may find some amazing new friends. Hi friends, I'm Sarah and here at Life Learning Littles we are all about learning through life with our littles. And I'm actually about to go find one of my littles who's in the garden right now to see if she wants to go find today's surprises in our learning chest. Come along with me, let's go find her. Hi River, are you watering? Mm -hmm. Wow, those plants are really thirsty, aren't they? Also, the peas are really dry. They're really dry. Oh, our peas right here that are on our trellis. They are getting really dry. That's why the leaves are turning baby, this color. Baby broccoli. Oh my goodness, look at the baby broccoli we have in our garden. Little broccoli heads grow. <laughs> that water's very cold. It comes straight from our creek. Do you want to go see what's in our learning chest today? Wait, we're doing learning. Do you want to? Yeah. yeah, that sounds exciting. Maybe if we give our plants a little bit more water, then we can rush on up to our learning chest. A pea. A pea. We have snow peas and snap and peas. <gasps> Are Another those yummy? Uh -huh. Do you like eating them raw or cooked? Raw and cooked. Raw and cooked, so do I. I like them both ways, but I think I like them a little bit more cooked. Oh, these plants are really grateful for all of this water, don't you think? Mm -hmm. They look a little thirsty. Hey, look at these peas! Whoa! Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Mm. You want a little bit of taste of stick raw? Sure. This one right here? Yeah. Mmm, it has so much flavor. That really is good, isn't it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you say? Do you want to run up to our learning chest? Mm -hmm. Do you want to race? Okay, I'll give you a head start. Go ahead. <laughs> to open up our learning chest. What's inside? <gasps> Instructions. You have found the pieces to a very special map. The only way to reveal the map's message is to rearrange the assorted pieces in the correct order. You must order them alphabetically from A to Z, from top to bottom. The paper, the paper. Let's bring everything over here and finish reading our instructions. The instructions are what tell us how to do it or what to do. It says the only way to reveal the map's message is to rearrange the puzzle. Do you want to take this little band off of our pieces? Mm -hmm. What letter is that? Ah. Yeah, the letter A, which can say A, A, A. Look for something. What? You look for something with a map. <gasps> is it going to lead us somewhere, do you think? Huh? Oh my goodness, but we need to know how to put it together. It says we have to put it together alphabetically, but do you know what alphabetically means? No. What's alphabet? <gasps> alphabet, like our letters. Like the letters in the yeah. alphabet. So the first letter of the alphabet is A, and then the last letter, do you remember the last letter Hold of the alphabet? On. Z. Yeah, so how do we remember what order they go in? Okay. I think there's a special song. Yeah. Let's sing it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? <laughs> you knew it. So that means we have to put it in the order of that song from Double top. Sticky tape. 
it's double-sided sticky tape. Yeah, feel that top. What does double mean? It means it's sticky on both sides. Oh, both sides double like two? Mm -hmm. So that side and that side is sticky. I wonder why we need that. Let's finish reading our instructions and it might tell us. You must order them alphabetically from A to Z, top to bottom. Tape and paper are provided to help you hold the map pieces together. Oh, here's the paper they're talking about. Look, they have a few letters on them. What letters are these? A, B, this is the top of it. Maybe we stick the first pieces to A and to B right here. Yeah. And look, here's another one though. Oh, which way does this one go? Oh, this is N, O. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. So maybe this goes down here? We'll have to see. Maybe if we put all the pieces here, look, what if it's this long? Do you think the map is that long? Probably longer. You think so? Where can we put the double-sided sticky tape, though, to help us with our map? Where's the letter A that we saw when we first, oh, here it is, look. Here's the letter A. Let's see if it goes on top like this. It, look, River, look. So maybe if we put a bunch of tape right here, we could just stick all the pieces in lines like that. So A, and then see if B would go B. with it. Look. <gasps> Does it go together? Yeah. River! But we need to be able to tape it. Oh, this is going to work perfectly mm. because it's double-sided. We can put one, look. One yeah, long strip yeah, so, right here. so if we forget which side is sticky, we can put it on whichever side. Also, we need to be able to stick it to this side and to the pieces at the same time. Here, I'll help you get a really long one. And what we're gonna do, Rivers, you're gonna place it just a straight strip down here on top of the letters and down this way. Oh, nice work, Rivy. Now we need to put another strip on this side. There, wow, that was really straight. Let's see if A will stick. We might need to put another strip of tape in the middle. Let's try this, just like that. If we do this. Look, it works. That means the double-sided sticky tape is effective. What we want to do is make sure the white sides of the paper match up as close there. as possible. There we go, now push it down. Is our map coming together? C, C. C is next, C is next, A, B, C. The letter C looks just yeah. like this. It looks see. like a <gasps> That's yeah. right, and it can say K or that's right. Mm. Yeah. What is this looking like? Does this look familiar at all? The pond. You think it looks like our look, pond? Look, blueberries. <gasps> treasure. You think there's treasure? Mm -hmm. There's some red arrows going through whatever this is. I don't know what it could be. But this does kind of look like a pond and this, these do look like little blueberries. So what comes after the letter C, if we sing our alphabet song? A, B, C, D. D, D, D. <gasps> I saw it right away. D, 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 D. There. <gasps> what is it looking like even more of? The blueberry farm. Could be, could be a blueberry farm with a pond next to it. Okay, so what comes after D? A, B, C, D, E, E. E. Okay, where's E, where's E? We must find E, we must find E. E, E, where is E hiding? Where is E hiding? E. Eh, E are the sounds that E can make. There. There we go. Now, A, B, C, D, E, F, F. 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 E, F. <laughs> that was easy to spot. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. G, G, G. G can say G or J. I think I see it. So what letter comes next in the alphabet? Let's sing it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. H, H. which can say, huh. right, let's see. If huh. can yes, let's show our friends, let's see. This is the letter H, and it says, huh. right? <laughs> let's see if it can fit right below our letter G here. and it completed this. What are these three logs. things? Logs. They do look like logs, don't they? Wow, this is quite yeah, a map. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. There's the letter I. I. This is the letter I. Do you remember all the sounds that I can make? I, I, E, Y. Wow, that's a lot of sounds. J. I'm still trying to stick I on here. And she's already looking for J. J. 
Oh, look right here. I think I found J. J. This is the letter J, and it, what does it say? J. Yep, just J. What does that look like? <gasps> what does that look like? I don't know. Hmm. What is shaped like that? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. K. You are right. You are really, really good at ordering your alphabet. I didn't know K was right there. <laughs> you did. Well, let's see. That's the letter K and K says K. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Just like K right here. Oh, what does this say? Ah, path. Path. Hmm. L is next. L. Where's L, River? Right there. This is the letter L, and what does L say? Oh. Oh, that's right. It's starting to come together. Now it's leading that way, then that way. So we have H I J K L M. M. This Ooh. is M. This is M, and it says. Mmm. Mm. Like, mmm, mmm, delicious. No, uh, mmm, uh, mmm. Mmm, uh, mmm. Spell. E. E, mommy. <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh, and you know, your name is Ur, I, V, Ur, River. <laughs> we have half of our puzzle done. It looks like this map is surely going to lead us somewhere exciting. They're really making us work for this map because it is a lot of pieces. 26 pieces to be exact because the Y. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. Alder path. Oh, do you know about an alder path anywhere? What is an alder path? Hmm. And what I is think that alder, alder is a type of tree. Do you have any ideas where our map is leading yet? No. What does this say right here? Can you read this word? <laughs> Mint. Do you know of any mint patches around here? I don't know. No? Maybe we should just complete the rest of the map and see if we can figure it out. Because we need to figure out where this map is gonna lead us. Okay, so L M N O. We need N N N N. N. The letter N. Do you remember what N says? N. We have to add our tape though. We almost forgot to add it to this page. That is a long strip. You hold it on this end and I'll hold it on this end and we'll see if we can make it straight, okay? Teamwork, high five! Excellent. Okay, Riv, we need the letter N. There we go. Does it join together? Hmm. Yeah, what comes after the letter N? Oh, it's right here. <gasps> oh! The letter O, which can say uh, uh, O, O, O. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can match it up. Ooh, that went perfectly. Look at that. There's a path with arrows coming up here. There's cement here. There's a path of alder trees. It's very funny because look. What? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. No. Whoop. It goes Ooh. down, but it goes up. Oh, huh, that's very interesting. All right, L-M-N-O-P, you said, and I already found P. 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 Look at that. High five. You did that pretty much all on your own. P. Q. Q. It has a little curly tail. Right here. Qua. The letter Q, which Q. says qua. Wow, oh my goodness, look, my elbow is stuck to the paper. <laughs> this is how I match it up. Since the white purse is so small, I just match the arrow. That is an incredibly smart idea. She just matches the pictures up because it's easier than making the you edges are. line up. R. R. <gasps> what is one of the best words ever that starts with R? R. The letter R. R. It's someone I love so, 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 so. River. River. <laughs> River's name starts with the letter R. River. <laughs> QRS. There's another person that I really love and maybe you love them too. And their name starts with the S, which is Sarah. Yes, <laughs> but do you call me Sarah? 
Mommy. Mommy, yes. Other people call me Sarah, though. There. There. T. T. T says T. T says T. Then we start the heart. <gasps> then we're starting the heart picture. This is so exciting. Yes. Q R S T U. The letter U. Uh, U, U, uh. T U V. V. Do you remember the shape of a V? It's kind of like a triangle with only two of its sides. V. V. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. W. And W is like two Vs, huh? The letter W says W. W. That's right. That heart is almost complete. There. Wow. These look like rainbow colors. T U V W X. This is a little letter X. And it says X. Mm-hmm. W X Y. <gasps> Two more letters left. Y, which can say Y I I E. E. Makes lots of sounds. The last one. This right here is a letter Z, and it says Z. Where is this map leading us? Okay, so I wanna read all these words. Follow the arrow path until the end. <gasps> and then it says, you are here. Is this the building we're in right now? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should go out the side door and see if we can find anything that An looks like arrow? This. Maybe, let's go check. Maybe we should follow the road down. What is this? Look, it looks like fern plants. Yeah. Maybe that's the field of ferns over there, oh, across yeah. our road. We need to see where the red arrows lead. So the red arrows go all the way around here, all the way around here. They go all the way under. past this green so, look, thing. They go all the way down. Uh huh. But then it goes this way. But then it goes this way. And then it goes back this way. And it goes this so way. I guess both paths of arrows lead to right here. And what is this gray thing? It looks like it's like hanging on the logs next to it or something. Hmm. Maybe we should walk down the road and see if we come to any creek. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Oh look, what? look. Ah, there's some water. Maybe oh. that's what this is. Uh -huh. I think that's what this might be, but now it shows that we're gonna go a little bit forward and then take a right. Let's see if there's somewhere we can turn right. Look at this! Look, River, look! I think you went the exact right direction. Look, you turn around here. Oh, the alder trees! Up, 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 up. Let's go forward and see if we can find anything that looks like this, okay? This yeah. green thing, okay. These are alder trees. Aren't they beautiful? It's sure to be here somewhere because it's something really big. We need to see where this map is leading us. Let's go around the front of the canoe right here and see if we can find it. Hold on. Come on. Why is there a heart right there? Maybe it's just to represent love. Oh yeah. Because Help. we love learning through life together. Look, it's pointing to the end of the log. What are all these logs? Look, River, it's the three logs. Over here's one, which is this one. And then there's one going that way, which is this one. And then there's more trees that go that way. What part of the log do the arrows end at, Riv? That part. Right, and it's on this side. So is that over here? Is that oh. over here? Let's see, let's look around, let's explore. Is there anything around here? Yeah, it's this one. <gasps> a mailbox. Is it a mailbox? <gasps> look, it 
pointing right there. It's it's leading us to a mailbox. It even has a little red flag up. Uh, maybe that means there's something in here for us. You wanna open the mailbox? Mm -hmm. Pull it hard. <gasps> what Another is it? map. What could it be? <gasps> it's a note. What does this say right here? Read, Pause. read that one. Uh, fox. Fox and. Wah. Uh, oh. Wow. Wolf. <gasps> fox and wolf? Dear new friends. <gasps> is that us? Oh, what? We have just arrived here in Fern Forest. It is such a lovely place and we have decided to stay. <laughs> if that weren't us. No, we hope to make many new friends here and to learn many new things. Thankfully, we have already found the perfect spot for our new home. But now we must build it. Perhaps you could help us? <gasps> help build a house? We have included a map to our new residence. Please stop by if you can. With love, Fox and Wolf. Some creatures have left us a letter. Hold on. And their names are Fox and Wolf. And look at their paw prints, Fox and Wolf. Look. <gasps> a fox? A wolf and a fox. What does it say? Um, the. Mm, uh, the map. The map. It says we start at the mailbox. Mm -hmm. This red arrow line leads us, so we start at the mail. Let's go to the mailbox. Come on. Okay, we start at the mail. And then it says we cross over the walking path and we go over to a big tree straight across. Let's go straight across the walking path this way until we can find a big tree. A big one right here. Wait, River. What? What if we actually find Fox and Wolf in their new home? When you go to visit someone's home for the first time, sometimes do you know what can be really nice? What? If you bring them something like special flowers or something special to eat. And I was just looking at all of the ground. There's all of this wood sorrel. And also, there's some huckleberries right here. This would be a perfect gift to bring our new friends. These are called huckleberries and they're tart and a little bit sweet and super delicious. Now, do you know what huckleberries look like exactly? because you've picked them so many times. Red. But should anyone ever go out and just pick random berries that they don't know about? Should no, they? No. no, never. You should never pick because anything they might from the wild. It. Yeah, never pick anything from the wild unless you have an adult or your parent around to tell you that it's safe. Or you Because there are very dangerous or berries. Or unless you know they're huckleberries. Yes, because there are berries that if you eat them, they can make you very sick or even do worse things. So you want to always make sure that if someone who knows about berries berry. tell you it's safe. But these are not poisonous. These are just healthy, delicious huckleberries. Mmm. <gasps> but we better save some for our new friends, okay? Do you want to gather some redwood sorrel also for them? A little bit of greens? Oh, did you find a salmon berry too? Mm -hmm. How many pieces of redwood sorrel do you think we should pick? Six. Six? Mm -hmm. How many will that be for each of them? They each get three. They each get three, that's right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we have how many all together of redwood sorrel? Six. Six, three and three is six. Let's keep following our map, okay? Oh, the arrow. The arrow, okay. Where does the arrow lead? Where does the arrow lead? It looks like big tree. So this is what looks like the big tree to me. And the arrow goes around it, like behind it, maybe like back behind that path. Yeah. Let's see. <gasps> Fox and Wolf. Hi, Fox and Wolf. We brought you a special housewarming gift. Three pieces of redwood sorrel, some huckleberries. I oh. only got one thing, I'm gonna have to split in half. Awesome, thank you, River. Oh, let's see if they wanna eat them. See if they wanna try them. Mmm. Oh, and they left us a note here, too. Do you wanna hold Fox, River? Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Fox. Hi, Wolf, it's so nice to meet you. Hi there, we are so glad you made it here today. We have gathered most of the materials we need to build our new home. And we have just finished the framing. <gasps> 
They built this framing for their house? And we can help them build the rest. Yes, that's awesome. Now we must build three walls and a roof. Could you help us with the job? Building is so much more fun with friends. Why do you only want to build three walls? Is he gonna tell you? I don't know. <laughs> Wolf, why do you only want to have three walls on your house? Uh, well, we want to make sure to have lots of fresh air and lots of sunlight. Oh, look, here's the side wall pieces and maybe this is for the roof, so we should start with the walls. All right, Fox and Wolf, now you both can sit right here. We're gonna get this job done super quickly. This is shaped like an arch, like a bow or like a rainbow, huh? Mm -hmm. Except it's a green rainbow. Look, Fox is grabbing the stick. <laughs> Fox, wow, you are quite strong. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Oh look, I finished the wall. That is amazing, that is a great wall. Fox is dirty. Fox is a little bit dirty, you're right. Let me help you wipe it off. Oh, that's what good friends are for, you know? Since they only want three walls, we need to do the room now. Oh my goodness, you might be right, girl. Fox, can you help me lift this? Together. One, two, three, lift. Lift, that's there easy. we go. This isn't that heavy at all, actually. Is Fox going to sit with friend Wolf? Mm -hmm. They're going to spectate. They're just going to watch us. Maven, what are you doing, girl? She's trying to dig up Fox and Wolf's home. Hey, this, this is our home. We, we want no trouble. We just want, we just want to be a part of the forest family. We come in peace. And we must have peace in return. Please, just no biting, just no biting. No destroying our no home. Biting. Oh, goodbye, thank you. Ooh, Help. have to watch out for dogs. Help. Now all we need to do make the bed. is make the bed. And the pillows. And the pillows. Okay, Fox and Wolf. <gasps> what does Fox think? Um, he thinks it's good. Fox, this is fantastic. You're so thoughtful, River. You want to make sure the creatures are warm too, don't you? So cozy. Hmm. Actually, laying down has made me realize how tired I am. Oh, this is wonderful. I agree, Wolf. Thank you, River and Sarah. You're welcome. We are happy to be friends with Fox and Wolf. How about we put more moss so we can fill the house with moss? This has been such a wonderful time with our new friends. Thank you, Fox and Wolf, for inviting us here. River, I was thinking, because it looks like Fox and Wolf are getting pretty tired, that maybe we could teach them our goodbye song, because they don't know it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, these are the words, and I'll tell you the words too in case you don't know it. It goes, life is for learning, life is for loving. We learn so much with you today. Life is much better when we're together. We're happy you came with us to play. All right, Fox and Wolf, are you ready to sing it? Life, life is, is for, for learning. learning, life is life for is loving. loving. We learn so much with you, you today. today. Life is much better when we're together. We're happy you came with us to play. 
to play. <laughs> and we are so glad that you came along with us to play today. River and I had so much fun learning and exploring and meeting our brand new friends, Fox and Wolf. I still can't believe that. We found a magical mystery mailbox in the middle of our woods and then came across two Ow. new friends. But I'm so excited to learn more with you, River, in the future and to bring our friends along. And maybe Fox and Wolf will go on a lot of new adventures with us too. What do you think? Yeah. You can learn so much just from living your life and it's so much better when you have amazing people to love nearby. Were you glad to have our friends come along with us today? Yes, can we say bye? Bye. Bye, see you soon. And don't forget, if you wanna watch more of our Life Learning Littles episodes or any of our family-friendly content on a safe, ad-free platform, check out the link in the description down below 